what we have here is a cabbage white butterfly caterpillar. So I'm going to just call it the imported cabbage worm. And I thought I was going to, it was reaching the end of its, of its uh, life cycle so that I could get a nice chrysalis, which I don't have a picture of. And lo and behold, when I see it move off the plant to actually try to form a chrysalis, this is what I find the next day. What I think has happened is that this was parasitized. Uh, I'm guessing um, what's a wasp more than likely has parasitized it, although they could be tachnid flies as well. And uh, so either an ichneumon or a chalcid wasp is, is, uh, is a much, it's a little bit more likely a subject, but um, laid its eggs inside. And now what we have is these little cocoons coming out. And we're going to have this dead cabbage white caterpillar that has been parasitized and hosted basically it was a little zombie providing food for this parasitoid wasp. Parasitoids always kill their prey. Now if you look way to the right you may notice some movement. I think that's one of the larvae that has yet to form a cocoon and it's hard to see but you may be able to see it just starting to move a little bit and that is probably one of the larvae of whatever the parasitoid was, whether it was a tacted fly or one of the parasitic wasps, and it's about to form a cocoon and join its brethren in probably another week's time, if not less. There will be just the mummified little caterpillar and empty cocoons as the wasps emerge. I hope I'd be able to get some pictures of when that happens. But an interesting event. Here we have some chalcid wasps. You can see one crawling around down there. And what's left of two cabbage caterpillars. Next to the little mummified corpses are the cocoons that the chalcid wasps, I believe they're chalcid wasps, emerged from. Chalcid wasps are parasitoids. They uh, kill their host and in this case the hosts are, are Lepidoptera, are, are moths and butterfly caterpillars and they'll live inside basically feeding on the non-vital parts the caterpillar grows. Sometimes up, you know, depending on the species might get to even the chrysalis cocoon stage but it's a walking zombie. It's dead and the parasitoid always kills its host and in this case then out spilled out these little these little, uh, these little larvae, the larvae completed and made um, and made cocoons themselves, and then out emerged that little tiny, that little tiny uh, wasp. I've got some of the other ones still contained inside here. I don't know if you can pick them up, but you may be able to see the wasps now, all crawling about. All of these came from those two, from those two caterpillars, and they will mate, and the females will uh, once again, of course, find a caterpillar host that they will then lay their eggs in again and start the process all over again killing that killing that little beast so may sound cruel but uh, these are parasitoids through natural control on uh, on various species of uh, caterpillars and this has been going on of course for for centuries as these animals have evolved to feed on each other you can see the little wasps still moving around Oh, just flew off. And away it goes. One last look at some of the other ones that are captured. Another last look at the dead caterpillar corpses, what used to be the zombies. And then you can see the cocoons which are next to them, so if it opened and released their wasps already. So a day later, I think all of the chalcid wasps have emerged from these two caterpillars, and there's quite a few of them. So this is how many chalcid wasps emerged from two caterpillars, which had been parasitized. Uh, you know, two cabbage white caterpillars that have been parasitized. You can still see again in the bottom some of the cocoons and things, but these are the adult wasps that have emerged from those cocoons. And uh, I'm going to try to see about uh, releasing some of these now, but I want to see how many there were. Uh, and again, I do believe that they're chalcid wasps. 
and as you can see quite a few are born from just two caterpillars a parasitoid wasp chalcid wasps are very very good and I believe they're chalcid, chalcid it could be an human but I believe that your chalcid wasps are very good at uh, at uh, parasitizing and uh, you know, controlling numbers of all kinds of different things. In this case, they would go for caterpillars, and in this case, it was also a cabbage white caterpillar. There you go.